Yo, yo, what's good with everybody? It's your boy, Get Shot Out, on his Madden 24. I got a highly competitive game, man. It's real competitive. And uh, it's going to go down to the wire. Uh, this is Rags right here. I am working on Ultimate Teams right now. I just don't got the money to buy a good team right now. So I'm still hustling ways to get my team up there. I've been taking L's and taking wins. So I'm just working my way to get some wins and stuff where I can work on my team. I ain't really care about the records. I'm not really caring about the records on Rags either. I was ranked high like uh, in the, like 180 or maybe 200. But uh, it's probably dropped now because I've been on alternate teams, having been messing with Reds. But uh, yeah, like I said, I got a highly a competitive gameplay. I'm not going to do no commentary on this one. I'm just going to let the game speak for itself. But uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit a like. It will help the channel grow and we can get some more people. So uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Have a good one. And the Chargers need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Extra point up and good by Dick. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Their defense, but I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and three. pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. It's a gain of 35. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again, it's Mixon. He will push his way down to about the 14. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Brings up third and five. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Bengals are able to match the opening drive touchdown against him with one of their... Little confused, but he found his receiver. And that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few... The Charger drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And the last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. 
To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Five. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Dancing to his left. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A big play there for L.A. 53 yards. Just a breakdown there defensively. It looked like someone got their wires crossed because no one seemed to pick him up at all. He's running free, and there's not a quarterback in the league who's going to miss that throw. That's a huge play. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Herbert off of play action. He'll buy some time right. Whipping one into Allen. That's complete. Touchdown, Chargers. Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 14-7. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And it'll be a terrific return here as he practices for. This is what he schemes. This is what he watches tape to put himself and his team in a position to score points. An absolute dream return. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. Down at the 25. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On second down, here's Burrow. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers will take over possession here up at the 44. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. Andy, do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. That's throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. Touchdown, L.A. Josh Palmer, 56 yards. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and it's now 21-7. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's got a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> here we go, here we go. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Burrow. And that one caught downfield by Boyd. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Now it's Burrow. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and this shows on the scoreboard. 
Again, it's Burrow on second and ten. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And Burrow going to throw again. Flush to his right. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. Mix it up the middle. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Well, he's trying to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. They'll give it to Mixon. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals have cut it back within a score. And there, the counter play proves successful for the touchdown. What typically makes a counter play in general successful, Charles? But what you're trying to do, Brandon, is to get the team moving in one direction, meaning the defense. Get them going in one direction and then wall them off with your blocking and bring it back in the other direction. That way, you don't actually have to punish them with your blocking. You just position them. And if you have any kind of a good back, he'll take full advantage of it and gain good yardage. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get it to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Running on first down, Eckler. And he is met in his track. The multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Forced out to his left. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. The Bengals drive about to get going. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Gun, gun. An gun. incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten.
Burrow looking to pass. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. First down, here's Burrow. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. With how the coverage was positioned, up was about the only spot the quarterback had to try and deliver that pass. Just put a little too much height on it. Incomplete. McPherson's kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. The final shot before the break for Herbert. And that'll be incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gaunt. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? But a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Mixon hit, and all the ball is out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Here's a quick throw to Higgins out wide. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Got a man open, it's Chase. And he's gonna have a Bengals first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. 
And he'll go right back to Chase. That's caught again. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run away. On second down, here's Mixon. Room to maneuver at the 35. And finally taken down at the 30 yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. First and ten, Joe Burrow. Open man is Chase complete. Ten more there and another first down. And it's incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to our Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. going to get this out to Chase. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring. They did not let him get downfield. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Burrow. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, Tight end is one of the guys you got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. The Charger drive about to get going. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They'll roll him out right, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now it's Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Inside the 10. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Josh Palmer, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers used a big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. In just a one-possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. And the idea of beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Here's Burrow. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamal Chase. 56 yards. And the Bengals have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. And Burrow's going to look to throw for it. And that is caught. But he will come down out of bounds, says 
the side judge incomplete. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. The Charger drive about to get going. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? Attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, and then, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the four. That's divided up by sections, and right now he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. On second down, Eckler. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Herbert now. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they run on first down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. As they'll talk things over prior to this up. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will have a charger first down, and that should be the one. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And they will take a knee here. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and it's going to really keep that game ball. He was sensational. In the win column for the L.A. Chargers, and this not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job.